Imagine that the first element of the array is 35. You access a different element of A. You know what, let's start sketching this. So the first element of A is 35, and this is index 1. And then we access a different element of A at index I with the value 112. So here's index I. It's a different element, so it's got to be later, but it could be the very next element. Uh, and its value is 112. Was that element one of the k that were rolled, i.e. cut off of the end and inserted at the front? Briefly explain how you know. Uh, let's just look back up at the, the sample here. So we had uh, 8, 9, 2, 4, 5, 6. The stuff that was cut off of the end, it used to be at the end. This was in sorted order, and, and that's why it's big. Uh, and what we noticed with the brute force thing is that we had to go down at some point to realize that by brute force that we found the point where the cutoff occurred. Now, before we went down, we went up and up and up. Uh, and then we went down, and we're never going to get as high again because the things that were cut off the end again were the very biggest things. So 35 is larger than everything that didn't get cut off of the end. Uh, so 112 did get cut off of the end, because if it were one of the things that didn't, it would be smaller than 35, right? We should be able to move 35 over to the end, and all the stuff that didn't get cut off belongs to the left of 35. So this did get cut off. Uh, element I did get rolled, because non-rolled elements are smaller than all rolled elements which are from the original end of the sorted list. So that parenthetical is just to drive home how I know this. So I know it got rolled because all the non-rolled elements are smaller than all the rolled elements, and 112 is larger than 35.